But another sort of uh, way we have of, of working with these kinds of documents and making it making that workflow a bit uh, easier uh, is by uh, performing comparison of different versions of documents. So uh, we have actually a few different ways of, of viewing um, documents that, that might have changed slightly. Um, so one of these is by kind of overlaying two different versions of the same document. So this would come up in practice where maybe you have one version of a drawing uh, that everyone is working off of, and then maybe the architect, uh, you know, based on uh, regulatory feedback or uh, feedback from whoever is funding the construction project, might add things onto the drawing, might revise, uh, you know, based on on that new information, come up with a new version of, of the drawing, and then send that out uh, uh, to everyone involved in the construction project. Um, and that uh, kind of process can be a bit of a risky one. Because if everyone isn't uh, on the same page, uh, you know, as we described before when we're talking about PDF trans rendering and the ability to correctly render zero width lines, um, if people are working off of different plans, uh, then incorrect things might be built, and then there might be uh, disputes about um, how to rectify that, and you know, who should who should uh, weather that cost. Um, so. So getting everyone on the same page and making sure that they're all on the latest blueprint um, or, or drawing is very important. And uh, someone in the field, uh, just given uh, this very detailed blueprint or, or drawing, it isn't necessarily going to be able to immediately spot where the changes are uh, between the latest version and whatever version they happen to be using. So uh, comparison can really save a lot of time uh, with respect to that. So instead of them having to look at every single detail inside of the document, or, or uh, sometimes we hear about end users printing out uh, the drawings and then uh, placing them on top of each other and then sort of holding that up against a bright light to try to see what's different. Um, this experience here uh, lets us kind of take care of all of that uh, in immediately uh, with, within the viewer. So uh, we have a few different ways of performing comparisons uh, of different versions of documents. This one here uh, is actually made by uh, taking two different PDF copies uh, and com composing a new PDF copy out of that, sort of the diff PDF copy. So I could actually download this file, for example, um, that's that's made of these uh, the, these two documents laid over each other. Um, and uh, what this diff is showing me is what's changed between these two versions. Um, and specifically, we've had some, some information that's been removed. So previously, we had uh, this deck here, and that's been removed from the latest version. And to show that that's been removed, we're, we're highlighting that in red. Um, and this is happening through PDF blend modes in this case. Uh, we have another uh, sample as well uh, that, that maybe is a bit more flexible um, when, dealing with, uh, when dealing with scans and faxes. So what I'm going to do is kind of bring that up in our web viewer samples here. Uh, this is just a, a, another sort of showcase of um, our, our functionality here in, uh, in, in these samples. And uh, what we have in this demo is, is a slightly different way of kind of performing the same operation of, of overlaying two PDF files and, and seeing what's different between them. Uh, this one is a little more suited to, to scans and faxes because we have a bit more control. How, it, how it's working is that we're bringing up three different instances of Web Viewer um, and then bringing up uh, three different documents inside of it. So, so here on the left, we have the old version of the document that we're working with. Here, it's more of a text-based file, but the same, the same principles apply. Um, and in the right, we have the new uh, version of the file. So that's the very latest copy. And then in the middle here, what we're showing is a pixel-by-pixel -pixel comparison that has been actually composed here inside of the browser. So the browser is taking these, these two images from WebViewer uh, and, and uh, it, the code in this sample is going through those pixel by pixel and, and outputting this diff sample here. So any content that's been added in the latest version shows up as blue, and any content that was removed shows up as red. Um, and we actually have callbacks inside of this sample, so you can customize that, uh, maybe adjusting the, the pixel difference threshold um, or the output colors uh, if you'd like to change those to maybe be a bit um, e easier to see. Some of those uh, we've actually added into uh, this sample here. So uh, currently I'm, I'm set, set up to show the differences, but if I turn that off, we see that it's um, uh, now sort of uh, just just back to a black and white view composed of of the pixels of each document uh, merged together. Um, and some users actually really like the ability to change the opacity of what's different rather than show that uh, by color. So this is one way of kind of enabling that. I can slide uh, the opacity back and forth and I can see what's changed. So what was removed and what was added. 
uh, makes it very easy to see by that movement. And that's a bit easier, of course, for anybody who might uh, be colorblind or, or otherwise visually impaired. Um, we have some other controls within this sample as well uh, that are tailored for the AEC space. Um, so uh, one of those is this uh, sort of nudge tool that we have here in the middle. Um, and, and again, uh, as I was mentioning before, a, a lot of these use cases are designed around uh, uh, the, the cases where new versions of the document come in through scan or fax. Uh, and in a lot of those cases, the new version might not be perfectly aligned with the old version. Uh, so it might be slightly larger, or maybe when somebody scanned it in, it was a little rotated or uh, translated differently. And so with this tool here uh, in the middle panel, what I can do is make fine-grained adjustments to this overlay. So if the if the fax is uh, rotated, I can, I can make those adjustments, or if it's uh, you know, just a few pixels off, maybe uh, in comparison, I can I can change that translation uh, and and make sure everything is nicely aligned, uh, or I can adjust the scale here as well. So if one is slightly bigger for whatever reason, then I can scale that back down. So that makes it possible to get a perfect overlay and to to really then immediately see what's actually different between these two documents. An another kind of mode uh, that shows up uh, for EAC customers, uh, and this is one that happens in um, a particular workflow, uh, specifically permit review, uh, is where we have uh, we, we have um, two documents at different scales, and uh, we we want to uh, sort of show them in the middle, normalized to the same scale. Um, so, so unfortunately, I don't, I don't have a good example document here, so we'll kind of have to imagine it a little bit. Um, but uh, what what might happen very often is that we might have a blueprint of a house that we're planning to build, and then we might have a blueprint of a city block where that house would actually be built. And as part of permit review, what we might do is overlay uh, that blueprint of the house on top of the blueprint of the city block. Uh, and that way, see if, if the house that we're planning to build will actually fit on the lot that we're building it on. Uh, so this is kind of a good sanity check to see. Uh, you know, you definitely uh, want uh, whatever you're building to actually fit uh, in the place where you're, you're planning to build it. And so we have, an act, we have um, uh, some tools that are, that are uh, geared towards that. We call that alignment mode. Um, and in alignment mode, what you can do is draw an arrow uh, on each of these two blueprints. So uh, let me just get rid of that one, actually. Um, let me leave this one. So um, what we can do is draw an arrow on each. And then, uh, so, so let's say this left one is a house that I'm building. Uh, and in the right here, uh, this is this is maybe the city block in which we plan to build it. And maybe we plan to build uh, the house in sort of this area here. So what I can do is draw a second arrow along here, sort of showing where that house would be built. And then in our alignment here, uh, what we're going to have is the, the city block view with, uh, with this house scaled down and sort of shown in that context. And so, you know, again, my apologies, you have to sort of use your imagination a little bit with these documents. But, but you can imagine that this uh, helps us see uh, kind of e each drawing in, in context and how they relate to each other uh, at, at the correct scale. And that can, uh, just as with the other measurement tools and, and the other tools that we're talking about, help make sure that everyone's on the same page, uh, is building everything correctly, uh, and that uh, errors in construction are really uh, minimized.